hello friends in today's video we will discuss how to plot two y axis graph in origin pro software for example if i have data um, in which there is one x axis values and uh, i have two y axis values uh, that is one is percentage removal and the second one is qe for example if you are studying wastewater treatment and um, want to plot graph regarding percentage removal and um, QE that is maximum adsorption capacity and you have one variable parameter uh, then uh, if you want to make a graph that has two y axis and one x axis then how you can plot such type of graph in origin for software so let's start for example here in this case we have already discussed that how to calculate QE and percentage removal in our playlist of uh, wastewater treatment if you have not find that video i will provide the link of that full playlist in the description you can easily check from that okay so here for example if i have a uh, data that is um, if i want to put this data on x axis then i can just copy from excel sheet and then go to origin and then will paste here and uh, rename the axis title for example it is the ph then i can rename as ph and uh, if you want to make first y column first y axis as a percentage removal then i can copy and paste values here okay and uh, paste values here and then you can uh, rename this axis as percentage removal and uh, if uh, now you are seeing that you need one more column and for adding new column you just click control plus d and uh, here it will ask how many columns do you want so you just need to click if you want to add one column you can click on uh, ok and if you want to add more column you can add your number manually here so in the third column i will add this qe data that is uh, i want to make this or add this data in second y axis so i rename as qe and what's the unit of this its unit will be milligram uh, per gram milligram per gram okay so uh, this is the data and i want to, if i want to plot um, two y axis graph so what i need to do i first i will select the whole data and then after selecting i will go to here here you can see uh, an option of two y axis so i click on it and then here you can see two y uh, two y's or y y axis plot so i click on this one so here you can see on one y axis it is a percentage removal and on second y axis it is mentioned as qe milligram per gram and on x axis you can find the ph of the solution if you want to change the color of this one into black you can just click on it and then uh, when you click on it um, uh, an option will show here like this one you can simply uh, change the color into black one so um, if also if you want to change uh, this line uh, color into black or any other color you click on it and here um, it will uh, say that what uh, what's the color you want to choose so for example i can simply go to here and then click on black okay so this is the uh, legend and that is the it is mentioning that red line shows qe values and black line shows percentage removal so i need to put this legend into the uh, within the area of graph so i click uh, so i move that legend into the uh, space of graph if you need to change um, this graph into um, if you change the color of this line you can simply select the line for which you are changing the color and then click on uh, select any color that you want for example if i keep it as navy and uh, if i want to make this line more uh, um, uh, highlighted and uh, i want if i want to change or increase the width of the line then i can select 12 or 18 so I, if i select 12 here you can see um, the points uh, size will increase so for this line if i want to change its color into pink i will select the color and if i want to increase its um, size and i will select for example 12 so here you can see the points will uh, become larger in size and the um, color of each line will change so here you can uh, change the 
color and uh, style of your uh, graph okay so if you want to change the font size and font style of your graph you just need to click on this one and then go to here uh, here you can select any color for example if you are choosing times new roman so keep it times new roman same is the, uh, for this value you can uh, change its uh, style to times new roman and if you want to change its uh, font size you can simply select from here okay and if you want to change its, its color you can simply uh, select from here and it, here it, you can see it will become uh, it become from blue to black okay so if you want to bold this one just click on it and then click on this b or bold and for this also you just need to click on bold here in, in the same manner you can change the font style and font color of your axis title and axis values okay so if you also want to uh, make changes to this graph you just go to here project explorer and then click on book one and when you double click on it this excel uh, this sheet will appear and if you make any changes here it will automatically appear uh, in the graph for example if i want i remove this data for that if i delete this first point and uh, this second point then it automatically um, change graph points as well for, and here you can see i deleted those points from excel sheet from uh, uh, the sheet in origin and at graph will automatically rearrange or reset and if you want to change uh, uh, if you want to remove this space for example here you can see the graph is starting from ph value of 6 and if you want to remove this extra space you just need to double click on axis value this dialog box will appear here and here you can select scale and from this you can uh, it is uh, saying that th this graph axis started from value 1 and goes to 11 so here you uh, as we see our data starts from 6 so if i select from 6 and then go to 11 and what would be the difference in value for example here is a difference of uh, well two points for example after two it will appear as four and six and eight so here is a difference of point two so if i if you want to uh, decrease its uh, difference you can click on or you can add any number manually so i will select one and then click on okay so graph will appear start from six and goes to uh, 11 okay so for removing this space extra space here you can see the graph is starting from point 60 uh, or the percentage removal is 60 percent so you can simply select uh, 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 you can simply change the axis values and uh, you can start the graph from 40 instead of 0 and you can also change the this uh, value if you want to change it so here i have started the graph from 40 and for this qe you can also make changes as well for example this qe value first point start from 0 0.04 and we can simply change uh, this axis data as uh, we can start it from 0 0.03 and here you can see uh, this extra space has been removed if you want to make it more clear you can simply start from 50 and 0 0.04 so it's up to you here you can simplify or uh, here you can uh, in this manner you can format your origin program easily in origin software so i hope this video um, helps you in uh, plotting two y graphs stay tuned with the young researchers for more informative videos regarding uh, research project and regarding graph plotting and um, different softwares that are used in research so um, uh, stay tuned with the young researchers and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you find it suitable so Keep watching, um, we will discuss some more other aspects regarding to Origin Pro software in next videos. Till then, Allah Hafiz.